Assalamu alaikum. This is Miss Shazia and I'm here with yet another fun and exciting art project for you guys to try at home. So for those of you who've been posting on Seesaw, a big thumbs up. For those of you who haven't, I'd strongly urge you to please do so. Also, I will list my, um, I will uh, put my address in the Seesaw box. So do uh, mail any fun and exciting artwork that you have done and would like me to display on my backdrop. So today we are going to do a very, very fun and new kind of artwork. We are going to use oil pastels to create something called still life, okay? And this project is actually not based on your imagination. We're going to use oil pastels and we're going to use an object. My object is an apple. This project is not based on your imagination. This project is based on you looking at this apple, observing the colors, the way the light falls on it, observing its shape. Is it a round? Is it an oval? What shape is it? It's actually kind of uneven. My apple has a fat one side and then a long other side. Mm, it also has a dip in the middle and the middle has different colors. So I want you to look at your fruit, okay? If you don't have an apple, feel free to color a banana or uh, an orange. If you don't have any fruits at home, you are welcome to look up a picture on Google. Please do not uh, copy anybody else's work though. Look up a picture of a real apple on Google. And then I want you to just um, keep it in a, uh, for those of you who do have an apple, keep it in a space where you can observe it. For those of you who don't have an apple, I want you to just put the picture in front of you and try and copy it. So the way I am going to start is by taking a dark orange and looking at this shape, okay? looking at the shape of my apple. So it kind of is like this and then like that, okay? So one side is kind of fatal and then it has a little dip in the middle and then it has, mine doesn't have a stem, but I like a stem on an apple. So I'm just putting it, okay? Then at the bottom, you can just make it round. All right, actually an apple is a little flat, okay? So make it a little flat with the... And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a nice deep red and I'm going to start coloring the edges. And I'm going to color and just lightly color it out. Don't put too much pressure, okay? First, we're going to get our basic colors down and then we're going to build on it, okay? So we're going to just take our red. And Now what we're going to do is we are going to take an orange and just try to blend it in with the red. And also before you color the whole thing, please wait. Make sure to leave an area that's white. Just leave a little space that's completely white so as to show the light that's reflecting on your apple. This light is represented by this white area, okay? So we are just going to start slowly blending this in. And now I'm gonna take a little bit of orange, uh, yellow, sorry, because my apple has a lot of colors. If you have a deep red apple, you can make a deep red apple. If you have a green apple, please go ahead. Um, try and use a fruit or vegetable that has shine to it because I do want you to master this technique of leaving a space a little 
open so as to reflect light, so as to show that it's reflecting light. This is a very cool technique used by artists. Now we're gonna take white and we're just gonna smudge it in this white area just so that it doesn't look so defined, okay? And we are gonna take our fingers, since this is oil pastels, and just start to smudge along. So we're gonna smudge, smudge, smudge to the sides. All right, now I'm going to just take my brown and I'm going to just uh, sharpen this area. Also, I'm going to color it a little bit over here so that kind of looks a little more. And I'm going to also put a little bit of orange because my apple is a little deep inside. So, and I'm going to put a little more red because it does have that reddish color, okay? So please try and smudge as much as possible, okay kids? Make sure that your apple is nicely blended and don't make it too round from the bottom because apples are not round. You see how they sit flat? They sit flat like that. So mine has become a bit round, but I don't want you to. I want you to observe really well and then make a line like, you know. And they also have these little kind of a, bumpy area at the bottom so try and make that too and there we have it there's our apple okay this is called still life and i really want you to have a good time trying to observe and create observe objects around your house and then try to recreate them um using oil pastels crayons anything you wish okay um i hope that you had you will have a boatload of fun doing this project i hope that you will post it on seesaw and until next time salam alaikum